Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday, the 24th of March, 2022, of the third week of Lent. Why dost thou stand looking about thee here, since this is not the place of thy rest? Thy abode must be in heaven, and thou shouldst look upon all earthly things as it were in passing. Daily Prayer O Lord our God, grant us, we beseech thee, patience in troubles, humility in comforts, constancy in temptations, and victory over all our spiritual foes. Grant us sorrow for our sins, thankfulness for your benefits, fear of your judgment, love of your mercies, and mindfulness of your presence now and forever. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Cynical crowds conclude that Jesus drives out demons by the Prince of Demons. To test Jesus, they asked him for a sign. Wouldn't having a conversation with the once mute man be enough? In their contempt, the word itself is banished from their speech. They need one stronger than a strong man fully armed to take away the armor on which they rely. Come, Jesus, take away my armor, the hardness of my evil heart, and distribute the spoils, all the joy and freedom and virtue bound up by sin and selfishness. The Epistle This is the nation that will not listen to the voice of the Lord God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah Chapter 7, verse 23. Thus says the Lord, This is what I commanded my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God and you shall be my people. Walk in all the ways I have commanded you, so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs not their faces to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets. Yet they have not obeyed me nor paid heed. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either, when you call to them, they will not answer you. Say to them, This is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 95 Responsorial If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, 
for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massah in the desert, where your fathers tested me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Gospel Acclamation Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart. For I am gracious and merciful. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, O Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel Whoever is not with me is against me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 11 verse 14. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute and when the demon had gone out the mute man spoke and the crowds were amazed. Some of them said By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I, then, drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of heaven has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Harden not your hearts. Is my heart hard or soft? That can be a difficult question to answer, mainly because it seems so black and white. We can wonder if we've become like the Israelites in the first reading, a nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord. Jeremiah 7.28 Either we are open to the Lord or closed to Him. There is no room for anything in between. In the end, we may just throw up our hands and say, I don't know. Today's psalmist offers us a different strategy. Soften your heart. No matter where we are in our journey with the Lord, we could all be more open, pliable, and yielding to Him and to each other. So how do we soften our hearts? 
The psalmist's answer is both simple and powerful. By worshiping the Lord, sing joyfully to the Lord. Psalm 95, 1. There is something about lifting our voices to God in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs that open our hearts to the Lord. Ephesians 5, 19. So cry out to the Lord and acclaim Him. Psalm 95. Come into His presence with thanksgiving. Just as singing helps us lift our hearts to the Lord, giving Him thanks helps us recall all He has done for us. The food we eat, the clothes we wear, our loved ones who have been entrusted to us, even the air that we breathe, these are all gifts from a loving God. The more we recall this truth, the more inclined we will be to honor the Lord, to turn to Him for help, and to obey His commands. Bow down in worship. If Pope Francis were to walk into your home right now, you'd probably stand up, right? Without even thinking about it, you would take a position of respect before Him. We can do something similar by kneeling before the Lord as we pray. As we use our bodies to worship the Lord, we'll find our hearts following suit. So choose a hymn or song of worship today and sing it out. As you do, kneel down or lift your hands or even dance. Recall all that God has done for you and thank Him. As you open your heart to the Lord in worship, He will make your heart of stone into a heart of flesh. Lord, I worship you. Keep my heart soft so that I can hear you today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May His peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.